This is the first problem. They said that find the roots of the following quadratic equations by factorization method. So this is the first bit. We, we are going to solve this using factorization method. So let us take this. So solution given what is given x square minus 3x minus 10 is equals to 0. For finding roots, first we will multiply the first term with the last term. So we will get minus 10 into x square minus 10 x square. Okay. Then next what is the middle term? Minus 3 x. So we have to guess the two numbers, two terms such that if we multiply we should get this one and add or subtract we should get minus 3 x. So here what are those two numbers? Minus 5 x and 2 x. 5 x 5 twos are 10 and 5 minus 2 we will get 3 as you know the sign is minus so we will take the sign of 5 is minus so we have to substitute these two values in place of minus 3x so x square minus 5x plus 2x minus 10 is equals to 0 the next we can take out x common so x is common x minus 5 plus 2 is common so x minus 10 is equals to 0 the next sorry 2 is a 10 the next we can take x minus x minus 5 common so x minus 5 is common so what is left x plus 2 is equals to 0 so once we have to take x minus 5 is equals to 0 and then x plus 2 is equals to 0 so x minus 5 is equals to 0 or x plus 2 is equals to 0 now we will send this 5 to that side so we will get x is equals to 5 and x is equals to plus 2 will become minus so x is equals to minus 2 so therefore 5 comma minus 2 are the roots of quadratic equation then next next in this in this also we will do the same we will multiply the first and the last term so 2 6 up 12 so minus 12 x square and the middle term is x so here we will get we need the two terms such that if we multiply we should get minus 12 x square add or subtract we should get x so here what are those two two terms that will be 4 and 3 so here the, here the sign of x is plus so we will keep the sign of the bigger number is plus and the negative goes to the next term now we will substitute this in place of x so 2x square plus 4x minus 3x minus 6 is equals to 0 so 2 and x will be common so x plus 2 to the 4 minus 3 will be common so x 3 so minus is common the next 3 to the 6 so here we can take out x plus 2 common so x plus 2 is common so what is left 2x minus 3 is equals to 0 we will take x plus 2 with 0 x plus 2 is equals to 0 or 2x minus 3 is equals to 0 this is separate the next plus 2 will goes to that side so x is equals to minus 2 or 2x minus 3 goes to that side it will become plus so is equals to 3 2 goes down x is equals to 3 by 2 therefore minus 2 comma 3 by 2 are the roots of quadratic equation then next here it is somewhat different so we will do this first we will multiply the first and the last term so we will get root 2 into 5 root 2 x square is equals to 0 sorry so 5 
root 2 into root 2, we will get 2x square. 5 to the 10x square. Okay. Then next, this one is 7x. Middle term is 7x. So we need two terms such that if they multiply, they will get, they will give us 10. So here, what will be those two terms? That will be 5x and 2x. So here, when we add this, we will get 7x. Then next, now we can substitute these two terms in place of 7x. So here, root 2x square plus 5x plus 2x plus 5 root 2 is equals to 0. Then next, in this, we can take out x common, but I want to add one more step here. Here we can we know that root 2 into root 2 will give us root 2 whole square and that square and root will get cancelled so we will get 2. So root 2 into root 2 will give us 2. Okay. So in place of 2 we can write 2 roots root of 2's root 2 x square plus 5x plus root 2 into root 2 x plus 5 root 2 is equals to 0. Now we can take out x common. So x will be common root 2 x plus 5 plus root 2 is common. So we will get root 2 x plus 5 is equals to 0. Root 2 x root 2 x plus 5 will be common. So root 2 x plus 5 is common. Then what is left? x plus root 2 is equals to 0. Then this will be equal to 0. So root 2 x plus 5 is equals to 0. This will be negative. So or x plus root 2 is equals to 0. So root 2 x is equals to minus 5 root 2 goes down. So x is equals to minus 5 by root 2. Or x this root 2 will become negative. So minus root 2. So x is equals to minus 5 by root 2 and x is equals to minus root 2. So therefore minus 5 by root 2 comma minus root 2 are the roots of quadratic equation.